The question I would like to explore today is, is Myanmar the best country in the world? Yes! Yes! You know, if there's one word I would use to describe Myanmar, it's the word interesting. Myanmar is just a very interesting place. I mean, just look outside my hotel room here. Isn't that interesting? There's just always things going on, sights and sounds and just the hustle and bustle. It's, that's a good word actually to describe Myanmar, the hustle and bustle. There's always things to see, you know. I really like walking around with my camera and there's almost too much. Like I don't know what to take a picture of or what to, to make videos of because there's so much going on. So it's a very interesting country. I've, I've really enjoyed my time here. It's just fascinating. So I want to give you a few reasons why I think Myanmar is the best country in the world, okay? Now when I got here um, to Yangon, I was walking around and I saw people with mud on their face. And I thought, why, is every, why does everybody have mud on their face? Well, I found out it's not mud, it's called tanaka. Okay, it's not mud at all, it's actually a paste made from a tree called tanaka. Okay, so people put this like paste on their face, on their cheeks, their nose, their forehead, and when I saw it, you know, it looked a bit weird, it, it was really strange. But after a few days of seeing it, um, I started to like it more and more, and now I've been here for a week, and when I see it, I think it looks pretty cool. I really like it. Actually, I got it on my face uh, once and and I actually liked it. It was, it was kind of nice. I think the reason people put it on their face is uh, because it's like a cooling substance, right? Myanmar is a very hot country and, uh, and people put tonic on their face to sort of to, to keep them cool. So I think it works. For me, it felt like uh, sort of a, a cooling effect on my skin. So that was cool. But the next reason I really like uh, Myanmar is because it's a warm country. You know, I just like warm countries. Coming from Canada, Canada's so cold. So if a country is warm, that already, in my books, that's a great country. So I appreciate that about Myanmar. Um, now, another interesting thing about this country is that there are no coins. Okay, I've been walking around for a week, I've been buying different things, and I haven't seen a single coin. Have you ever been to a country where there are no coins? That's crazy, my wallet is just filled with bills. There's no coins, so I thought that was really interesting. Why is nobody giving me any change in coins? And then I, I started to realize, well, maybe there are no coins in this country. So that's a very interesting thing I found about this place. Now another thing about this city is that uh, there are very few chain stores. Very few chain stores, and that sort of, that surprised me. I thought Myanmar was going to be similar to Thailand. You know, in Thailand there are lots of stores, right? McDonald's, uh, 7-Eleven, and you can see them everywhere. Whereas here in Yangon, there are very few chain stores. I've seen two KFCs in my whole time walking around here, only two KFCs. And, and no 7-Elevens, no McDonald's, you know, no other chain stores that I recognize. So that's something sort of interesting, but that's cool because that means, you know, there, there are so many stores that are, are like privately owned, right? And that brings me to the next point is the markets. The markets are just amazing here. It's so much fun to just go out in the markets and walk around. And if you like photography or you like making, you know, videos and stuff, Yangon is a very interesting place. You'll love just walking around and, and seeing the markets, all the colors and the fruits and vegetables and colorful clothing and everything. It's just amazing. I really like the markets here in Yangon. Now the next thing I want to say is that it's a cheap country. Myanmar is so cheap. You know, everything is cheap. Um, you know, your, your cell phone, SIM card, your taxi, your, your food you buy, everything is just really cheap. And 
I've never seen alcohol so cheap as it is here in Myanmar. You can buy a 500 milliliter bottle of whiskey for like a dollar. One dollar! Right? At any, you know, convenience store. You go to the convenience store and you want to buy a bottle of whiskey, like a pretty big bottle of whiskey, it's just going to cost you one dollar. That's crazy. I've never seen uh, alcohol that cheap in my life and I've been to quite a few places in the world. So, um, now the next thing I want to mention is that I think, I think, you know, Myanmar is a pretty safe country. Now, I've only been here in Yangon. Hopefully in the future I can visit other cities around Myanmar. But, you know, I feel pretty safe here. You know, a lot of people think Myanmar might be like a dangerous country. You know, people have left comments on my YouTube channel since I've been here. They say, oh, be careful, be careful. Myanmar is a dangerous country. Well, you know what? I don't think so. I, I felt very safe. I have never felt in danger uh, being here. And I think one of the reasons for that is because the people are very warm. You know, in my experience here, I've only been here for a week, but I've really felt the, the warmth of the people. They're a friendly people. I haven't felt like anyone wants to take advantage of me or, you know, try to hurt me in any way. They're very friendly people, nice people, and, and I like, I, I just like being with the people here, you know. I haven't met too many people, I haven't talked with too many people, but the people I have interacted with, they've just been very kind, very friendly. So that's my impression now of, of Myanmar people. Myanmar people are really nice people, so I, I love that. Now, I don't know if all Myanmar people are like this, but uh, I would say that Myanmar people are a little bit playful too. Okay, I'm gonna give you a story, okay? I was walking, I was walking down a street uh, a few days ago, just a, a back alley, and I saw a group of adults playing musical chairs. Musical chairs! You know what musical chairs is, right? It's like a, a children's game where you go around a circle, there's some chairs, and then when the music stops, everybody has to sit down on a chair. But always there's one extra, uh, there's one extra person and, and that person has to go out, right? And then it gets lower, like fewer and fewer people until there's only two people left fighting for one chair. And when the music stops, they both have to try to get on the chair. Well, these, these group of adults were playing the game and they were really into it. They were having such a great time and the kids were watching. You know, usually in the West, musical chairs is a children's game, but it was so nice to see adults playing musical chairs. You know, it's okay for adults to play games too. I love playing games. So it was really interesting for me to see that, you know, loud music and they were just having so much fun. So I'm not sure if this is a way to describe all the people in Myanmar, but it's the first time I've ever seen that and I've traveled to a lot of places in the world. Uh, now, another thing I love about this country is the flag. I love the flag. The colors are amazing, but not only that, it's a very shiny flag. I like that, you know. Most flags around the world are not shiny, but the flag of Myanmar is shiny and that's really cool. Like if you see it in the sun, it's like it glistens in the sun and that, that's really awesome. Now another just a small thing I would like to, to mention about that, that I noticed about being here in Myanmar is the power outlets like in my hotel rooms. I've stayed in three hotels here in Myanmar so far and the power outlets are, are, uh, are compatible with any kind of plug. Okay, so if you're from the UK or Australia or India or Canada, your devices will be able to plug in. And that's awesome. That means I don't have to use an adapter. I have an adapter, you know, because I travel a lot, but actually if I don't have to use an adapter, that's awesome. So just, I wanna say thank you to Myanmar for having a plug that is like just Nice, it, it's compatible with every other kind of, of plug, so that's awesome. Um, now just another small thing is that Myanmar is, is half an hour um, behind, or ahead, depending on how you look at it, uh, normal time. So it's, it's half an hour behind Thailand. It's probably like, I don't know, 12 and a half hours ahead of Canada. Yeah, 12 and a half hours ahead of 
of Canada. So it's, it's a half hour off, but other countries are like that too. India is another country that's half an hour off of like normal time. Anyway, those are just some, uh, some, some simple reasons, you know, why I, I just really like this country. I, you know, I think Myanmar people have good reason to be very proud of their country because it's just, it's a cool place. It's, it's, it's amazing. So those are just a few reasons I, I came up with why I love Myanmar. So I really hope to come back sometime. I, I really enjoyed my time here. I was only here for a week, unfortunately, but that week was great, just really fun. So I just, I wanna say thank you to Myanmar, thank you to the people of Myanmar. Um, it's just amazing. So I hope to come back soon, and uh, in the meantime, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.